I'm gonna check my own, and then I'll check my own, and then we'll turn it out. Hey, I am a girl from Sweden and like magic. Could you do a magic trick? I would be so happy and maybe visit someday. Her are a tips to you. Take Homestar Runner in a box. Okay. And take a saw. Yes, yes. And saw him from Agnes in Sweden. You're a girl from Sweden, and you want me to take a saw to Homestar Runner. Um, I think we might need to get married, Agnes. Of course I can do a magic trick, babe, honey. But what kind should it be, hon baby? Are we talking about, like, community center talent show type magic? You know, the kind with cups and balls, or those jangly metal rings where the guy's like, jingle jangle, and now they're separate rings. Ooh, and don't forget the ubiquitous live woodland creature cleverly smooshed into the lining of one's jacket or pants. But nothing says low-grade magic substitute. Like the mystical cone of newspaper. <gasps> now watch carefully as I pour this full glass of white milk into this cone of newspaper. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Uh, does anyone remember what this trick is supposed to do? <laughs> or I could go a few steps up from that amateur stuff to the guys that are willing to blow their life savings in the name of magic. Or as I like to call them... Monegicians. That's right, folks. Gaze maze and gaze mazement, as I totally ordered Magic Novelties and Amusement Catalog item number 1407B, assembled it, read the instructions on how to use it, and you didn't. Hey, the boys, you old man. There's also the subcategory of flowy sleeved monegicians. These are the guys with really hot assistants, really high production values, and really knocked a lot of magic. They might as well just spend their money paying the audience to believe they did magic instead of putting on a big pointless show. There's a thousand bucks. I made this building disappear. That's gee's lazy. Or I could go with the recent trend of street magic, where it usually just descends into dudes doing stupid crap to themselves in public. For six straight days, I will not drink. I will not blink. I will not think. And I definitely will not do any magic while standing on top of Bob's concession stand! What magic? But forget about the different kinds of magic tricks. I think it's time to take Homestar Runner in a box and take a saw. And saw him. Now, we've never met before, have we, sir? No, good boy, strong man. We have never met. You look like a man of many arms. Yeah, I'm like an octopus. All right, then. Hold still. This might hurt a lot, old. That saw didn't even touch him. He's pure evil. Well, sweet wife Agnes, that didn't turn out exactly as I hoped. But now, not only does Code Z think I'm a good magician, he also thinks I'm a class three dark wizard. Oh, and one more thing, Agnes. Was this your card? <gasps> Wait, Strong Bad, you left out an important kind of magic. What? The magic of illusion. Uh, I hope to high heaven that outfit is an illusion. Illusion. Ah! How can I defeat him, oh my master? First, you'll have to procure some mutant mandrake powder. Oh, I should have plenty of that laying around. That's what I used to defeat the dark fungus from down Ungus. Um, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave my parents' basement now.